it's all well and good opening up second spaces it's all well and good um you know having these core cool spaces where you have all these brands come in and you're doing skateboarding events and bloody blah, blah 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 but fundamentally you're a retail store and you sell things and this first comment i saw here was absolutely hilarious big up megan big up megan maria so Megan Maria left this post on, left this comment on a post that's to do with their skateboarding activations in Paris with vans. I'm trying to get a response from your customer care who are ignoring my emails for the last two weeks about a return. Please somebody reach out to me. In most cases, if you have to resort to leaving a comment under a post that has nothing to do with your purchase, nothing to do with your return, nothing to do with customer service, to get their attention it's usually because you've been ignored for a long time maybe an you know an ungodly amount of time when you have to resort to this level where you have to kind of like carry yourself on social media and be like guys hello i'm here um i've been emailing for a return no one's getting back to me what the fuck's going on this means you've usually been ignored for a while so the fact that this megan maria person has to leave this post is probably proof to me that the good food customer service haven't been doing their job and they've been purposely ignoring her and you know doing the kind of customer service that a lot of these fashion brands do where instead of updating you on the status of what's happening they just ignore you until they've got a solution which is horrible because any other place that you shop outside of cool stores fashion scenes they deal with you like a customer you buy something you need you need a return they answer you quickly but when it comes to like the cool fashion menswear streetwear fashion scene whatever suddenly everyone's a bit more laissez-faire a bit more cool their music is blaring in the store you can't really hear them when you're talking you know the website doesn't really work properly they say they have 10 but they actually have one all this sort of nonsense you have to just deal with it because you know that's just the nature of the industry but there are some times where you just feel like you know what bog standard customer service is what you should be doing well and if you can't do it well i don't care about your second space you're opening and imagine this type of response right imagine this type of question or concern from a customer you'd imagine this would be maybe a little bit embarrassing maybe you want to correct it on a spot or maybe you'd want to make sure that people that see this know that you're dealing with this customer's response or dealing with their query or you're going to resolve their issue look at how good to respond to this lady clearly in distress clearly worried clearly at the point where she's just exhausted all options she's probably rang them a few times sent loads of emails now i've got a reply and thought okay cool if they're in paris and they're posting regularly on their social media it must mean that they're seeing their social media so if i post my concerns under their latest post maybe they're going to reply back to me they do reply back to her but it's not the reply back that you think it is look at how they replied back to this girl that's clearly just wants some help at maria marie no one is ignoring you we are stretched answer coming soon <laughs> and no one labeled it no one put their initials nothing just some cunty cunty response that if anything this personifies what good is about and personifies what most menswear streetwear retailers especially skateboarding stores how they're like this vibe where they almost treat the customers like second class citizens where they almost treat you like they're chewing up at the bottom of their foot where they almost treat you like you are inconveniencing them is a reason why a lot of these stores when they fail and when they crash down when they go bankrupt when everyone loses their job why i don't have any since ounce of sympathy or empathy or whatever when it comes to them failing because most of them fail because they treat their customers like shit not because they do bad selects do bad buying no it's usually because they don't do returns well they treat you like shit when you come in the store they vibe you out they have staff that are like with their back facing you when you walk into the store they have staff outside chilling turning it into a fucking stoop so you feel like intimidated they don't want to go in they you know they 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 almost roll their eyes when you ask them to get you something at the back of the store hey do you have another size they almost roll their eyes they have to go upstairs and check for something for you they make it seem like they're doing you a favor by doing their job no wonder these people fail no wonder they fail no wonder people run away from their stores and don't want to go anywhere near them the london thing though is interesting and unique london is unique because we have such a lack of stores that sell the stuff that goodhood does they can kind of get away with this unfortunately we have so many we have so little stores in london that sell the type of brands the aesthetic the style who have the type of vibe the range of things that good would offer that they are kind of allowed to get away with treating their customers like this imagine going on social media and after a customer is actually just trying to get your attention 
She hasn't said anything bad. She hasn't put any fucking, you know, there's no caps lock on her fucking post. She's not screaming at you. She's not added fucking crazy angry eye emojis. She's not threatened to report you or anything. She's just said, hey guys, you've been ignoring me. You know who she is also. And you say, no one is ignoring you. We are stretched on to come. Like, who gives a fuck about you being stretched? You're not stretched enough to attend Paris Fashion Week, by the way. You're not stretched enough to go to Paris Fashion Week and to go to a skateboarding activation, which is, again, is something that I've always fucking hated. There was a period in time when I was coming up in the scene, right, where some of these skatewear, skate brand, these skateboarding stores, especially some of these skater-owned stores, these SOSs, right, would be right up their own ass, acting all high and mighty, like they're above fashion, like they're above all this scene. Oh, this is lame. This is all vapid. This is all whatever. And now look how the tables have turned. Many years later, now they're all courting and being in a relationship with all these big publications like Hype Beast and High Sobiety. They're doing fucking events with Good Hood and shit. They're posing in fucking fashion magazines like Wankers. All these guys are acting all high and mighty like they were above it are now doing it. And now this is the type of level of service that they are fucking imbuing into these stores. Absolutely diabolical. You're out here, you know, sucking yourself off about this second store that you're opening, right? Somewhere in East London that nobody gives a fuck about. But then you can't even do the basics and just get people to, you know, purchase people's returns, whatever. Get them an exchange, get them a re refund, whatever it needs to be done. It can't just be done properly. And people wonder why places like Sheen, places like Timu, rep replica fucking stores on fucking Taobao, like people on vintage people wonder why those things are booming because at least they're incentivized to provide good customer service at least they're incentivized to treat their customers well but fashion stores where you're meant to kind of you know you're meant to kind of support them and it's more than just a store it's about the community and the story they treat their customers like this i'm sorry but i don't care what brands you sell if i see you talking to your customers like this on social media i'm never shopping with you ever ever because it's the kind of place where you go where if something goes right, you're fine. If something goes wrong, they're going to fuck you. That's the problem with these type of stores. If you know what your size is, if you know what your sizing is, if you know what color you want, yeah, if you know what brand, like if you know who you, you know, you're right or you're the type of person who doesn't like returning and I'm that type of person too, I can be a bit slow returning. I can just sometimes chalk up as an L if I've got the wrong sides and just, you know, take the L and just leave in my wardrobe. But if you're the type of person that likes to kind of try things on take it back home see if you like it then hey they're gonna make your life a living fucking hell a living fucking hell but take your money they'll take it in an instant open a new store they open in a new an instant wank themselves off about how great they are take it in an instant when it comes to answering your emails and treating you like a good customer nah nah honestly this is one of the things i despise despise so greatly about fashion stores in general the absolute contempt pure contempt they have for the customers drives me absolutely up the wall bro it's a niche you need us there's a finite amount of customers out here that are going to be willing to buy, pay whatever you're paying for a fucking hysteric glamour fucking button up like not many people give a fuck about that japanese brand you kind of need these customers if you piss them off then sorry that person that was meant to come season in season that isn't going to come anymore now you've got some 700 short sleeve button up sitting on the shelves for ages like honestly I hate it so much. So not surprised to see, not surprised to see.